Hello, I am Marisha and welcome to my creative diary. I hope you're having a great day. It is officially autumn, so get your pumpkin spice lattes ready because we're about to create a gift card holder card. Let's get started. To begin, I brought in Honeybee Stamps coffee cup card die set. I love this die set. You can use it to create a shaker card. Um, you can actually die cut one cup and use it as an element for a card front. There are so many ways you can use this die set. I love it. Off camera, I did die cut the coffee cup card base and the two pieces to resemble the lid and the sleeve. I'm now going to bring in Distress Oxide's Hickory Smoke and using my blending brush, I'm going to add shading to the coffee cup. This is actually one of my absolute favorite techniques. I love using my oxides to add shading and color to my cardstock. You do have the option though to use other color mediums such as Copic markers, inks, whatever you want to use. As I always say, go for it. Look at it, how cool is this? The coffee cup is already coming to life. Now I'm not gonna stop with the front. I'm going to add some color to the back of the card as well. It's so amazing to me how it's just the little things that we can do and add to our projects that just make them come to life. I love it. Next, I'm going to bring in Honey Bee Stamp's Lovely Layers Sunflower Die Set. I did die cut the layers for the sunflowers off camera. And of course, I'm going to bring back in Distress Oxides, Carved Pumpkin and Mustard Seed. Using my blending brush, I'm going to add some shading to the layers. When it comes to shading on colored cardstock, I refer back to the light, medium, dark technique that I use when I use Copic markers. So for example, the cardstock that I'm using to create the sunflowers, that would be considered my medium color. Then carved pumpkin would be considered the darkest color and then mustard seed would be considered the lightest color. And then there are sometimes, like with the coffee cup, I'll just add a gray or brown. I'll just add one color to the cardstock. It just depends on my vision for my project. And as you see right here, here is a side-by-side -side comparison of the sunflower with and without the oxide blend. Now it's time to add some dimension to the sunflowers. So using the scrap piece of cardstock that I used to cut out the flowers, I'm going to cut out strips of cardstock. I'm then going to use adhesive glue to adhere three strips on the first layer. And then from there, I'm going to add the second sunflower layer. And then I'm going to repeat the first step by adhering the strips of cardstock. And then finally adhering the final layer of the sunflower. Now this step is optional. You can opt to not add dimension and just adhere the layers together. Or if you don't want to use these strips of cardstock, then you can feel free to use foam tape, whichever you prefer. Finally, I'm going to adhere the center of the sunflower and then from there it is on to the next step. Next, I'm going to bring in Honey Bee Stamp's Latte Die Set. I did die cut and assemble the latte sentiment off camera. I cut out one layer of white cardstock and then the shadow using gold cardstock. I also decided to die cut the sentiment out of black cardstock. I already adhered the first layer, but as you see right here, I'm going to remove the L and the A and just adhere the TTE to the back of Latte. There is a reason why I did this, so stay tuned. Now it's time to assemble the coffee sleeve, so I'm going to use adhesive glue to adhere the front and the back of the sleeve together. Once I'm done, I'm going to then adhere the front and back of the lid to the coffee cup card base. Wow, try saying that three times. Coffee cup card base, coffee cup card base, coffee cup card base. <laughs> 
Now I'm going to add the sleeve to the coffee cup just to make sure that it is secured. Now it's time for the fun part, adding our elements to the card front. So remember the latte, how I removed the L and the A? I did that so that way when I positioned it on the card front, it would be even. So next I'm going to bring in Honeybee Stamps Latte Stamp Set along with the Honeybee Stamps Sentiment Banners Die Set. I decided to stamp and die cut warm wishes off camera. Using adhesive glue, I'm going to adhere the sunflower, the sentiment, and the sentiment banner to the coffee sleeve. This project would not be complete without some splatter, so I brought in Distress Spray Stains Tarnished Brass, and using my paintbrush, I'm then going to tap it a few times to add some splatter to the front of the coffee cup. Next, I'm going to bring in some embellishments from Pink Fresh Studio, and using adhesive glue and my jewel pick, I'm going to adhere them to the center of the sunflower. Next, I'm going to bring in Honeybee Stamps gift card slots die set. Now guys, I highly recommend you having a gift card slot die set in your stash. It is perfect for when you're creating those cards that you want to add a gift card holder. Highly recommend it. So there you have it. This first card is complete, but guess what? I got to show you another one. Next, we're going to perform some crafting surgery. So I brought in the coffee cup base and using my paper trimmer, I'm going to remove the coffee cup lid. I decided to die cut off camera half of the coffee cup base. Why? Because we're going to use that as the insert for the coffee cup base. How cool is that? Next, I'm going to adhere the front and the back of the coffee cup lid to the coffee cup insert. For the next step, I misplaced my pencil, so I grabbed the next best thing, a black Copic marker, and I'm just marking the spot where I need to trim off the edge of this coffee cup. That way, it can easily slide in and out of the coffee cup base. I'm now going to bring in my paper trimmer to trim off the edge of the coffee cup. I did eyeball the placement of the markings on each end of this coffee cup, but you can feel free to mark it at an eighth of an inch on each side. Once I'm done removing the edge of the coffee cup, I'm then going to remove a little piece from the bottom, about an inch. Now I'm using adhesive glue to adhere the front and the back of the coffee cup base together, but you can feel free to use adhesive tape. I'm now going to do a test with the insert to make sure that it fits inside of the coffee cup base and that I do not need to make any adjustments. Now I'm going to add adhesive tape to my gift card insert. And after I remove the backing, I'm then going to place the gift card on the adhesive tape. And then from there, I'm going to do one final test to make sure that the gift card is secured and there is no chance of it falling out. I am really happy with how this turned out. I love it. And there you have it, two ways to create a gift card holder using a coffee cup die set. Which one is your favorite? please let me know below in the comment section. Thank you so much for joining me on today. I appreciate you so much for stopping by. Don't forget to subscribe, click the thumbs up button and the notification bell, and check out my blog at thediaryofbellrose.com. Here's another tutorial that I think you might like. Feel free to check it out. I'm sending you love and a whole lot of hugs. Until next time, please take care.